Welcome back to a fans tonight. We're at World of Concrete 2024. And we're going to get to show you brand new tools from the likes of Milwaukee, DeWalt, Hilti, Bosch, and a whole bunch more. All that coming up next on The Tool Show. All right, guys, we are here at World of Concrete 2024. It's very, very loud because there's a ton of cool things going on. And as you can see, Sarah's already geared up to try out Hilti's new exoskeleton, so we might as well start there. Let's go. My name is Reed Smith. I'm the product manager for Hilti for exoskeleton. And this is the Tool Balancer XOT. What it does is it takes the weight of a breaker or a drill and redistributes that weight to your, not just, to weight, not just redistributes it to your legs, but it also now acts as a zero gravity machine, allowing you to lift and move around that tool very easily. Why don't you give it a shot? Turn on the breaker and start breaking some concrete. Slide this over and away you go. Now, this is on our Neuron platform. The battery life, it depends on the weight of the tool that it's holding. But our big battery here on this tool will give you about four hours. Uh, the battery on that smaller tool, like a hammer drill, will give you about 15, 12, 15 hours, right? So plenty of battery life, you can do this all day. All right, we've never made it a secret how much we love the X-Lock platform from Bosch. It makes it super easy to change out your disc on your grinders. I just met Scott here in the Bosch booth. He's gonna show us something new. What have All you got? Right, cool. So again, this is our X-Lock. No tools, no nuts, no wrenches. It's really easy. This is our carbide multi-wheel. So it's gonna do, go ahead and make your, I'm just gonna pop it on here, I'll show you. Just press down and it's done, isn't Boom. it? Boom, it's in. You hear that click, knock it over you that. know you're ready to go. Yeah. All right. The carbide multi-wheel is going to make your, you're going you're to use it to cut things you don't typically cut with an angle grinder. So you okay. cut wood, PVC, Plastics plaster. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a softer material. Okay. So, all right. Let me just get my gloves on, pop in my battery. Here you go. Show us how easy it is to pop that off too. All right. Okay, it's my favorite thing about X-Lock. That's just ridiculous. Boom. Instantly, you're swapping things out and doing something new with your grinder. Love yep. it. And these are brand new? Uh, these are these are fairly new, yeah. So okay. they've been out for a couple years. But, oh, gotcha. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely something we want to highlight here today at World of Concrete. Love it, man. Awesome. Well, thanks, right. bud. Appreciate it. Thank you it. very much. Have a good show. As it turns out, there are a ton of different MX innovations here in the Milwaukee booth at World of Concrete 2024. I found yet another one here. Just met my new buddy, Wyatt. Thank you so much for joining nice me. I appreciate you. it. What are we showing off today? We got the uh, new Milwaukee MX Fuel High Cycle Concrete Vibrator. This vibrator will deliver the most powerful and most consistent consolidation. Even in the stiffest concrete, this concrete vibrator will deliver 11,500 VPMs. As we're hitting tall walls, columns, mass labs, bridges, users can have confidence that this vibrator will consolidate properly. Powered by our MX Fuel Red Lithium Forge XC80 battery pack, there's no need to run dedicated cords or generators on the site, giving you the fastest setup and a safer work environment. From a runtime perspective, this solution will provide 90 yards of consolidation on an inch and three fourth head and a seven foot whip. With the unique design of the motor being within the head, whether you're at seven feet or 32 feet, our ranges of whips, you're gonna get the same power, performance, at the and end run time. Exactly. That's cool. Exactly. We'll have the high cycle vibrator here for tall walls, columns, footings, and we'll also have a backpack variant right behind you here for oh, slabs, deck pours, and footings. We'll have six different whip head configurations, whips of seven, 16, and 32 feet, and then head sizes one and three fourth, and two and a quarter. These are going to be launching Q2 of this year. From okay. a pricing perspective, this high cycle concrete vibrator will include two Red Lithium Forge XC80 pack, as well as a supercharger. It will retail around $32.99. Here, this kit will include everything uh, in addition with the back strap and the whip and head, and will retail around $41.99. Sounds good. Thanks, Wise. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right, guys, we're in the DeWalt booth. World of Concrete 2024, the biggest news at the show so far has to be the launch of DeWalt's PowerShift battery platform. Luckily, I got Dave here to tell me all about it. 
I'm really, really excited. I just heard that this actually has stacked lithium technology. It does. Which is amazing why it's so compact and so light. Yes. Tell us all about this new platform and where we're yeah. headed with so it. So this battery ha is a 554 watt hour battery. It's our highest capacity battery we've ever come out with. And it does use pouch cells. Um, and the, the advantage of that is just it's more compact, gives us a ton of power, only weighs 11 pounds. Yeah, it's remarkably light for 550. It can give up hours. to 5,000 watts of power. That's equivalent to 6.5 horsepower. My God. Uh, enough energy and power for all the machines we're going to show you in just a little bit. Um, really excited about this. Um, now, one of the craziest things, though, is the charger for this system will charge the battery in less than one hour. You're kidding. Man, that's fast. And I noticed also you've got it uh, locked into the tough system, which makes it, it pretty lock, heavy. It locks into the tough that system. That was smart. The charger can be uh, mounted on a wall, um, lock into the tough system. You can stand it up if you want. Um, and you know, another key thing about this system is we really thought about the contractor on the job site. Temp power is always an issue. And we've designed it so you can put two of these chargers on a 15 amp breaker and not have any breakers. No, that's excellent. Which is which is yeah, really cool. I love cool. that idea. That's super smart. And then uh, you know, last thing and exciting, exciting thing about this system is this adapter. This blows my mind, so by the way. So we have a ton of flexible packs out there, right? Of course. And a lot of us have these big 15 amp hour lunch amp boxes batteries. too. Yeah. So this allows you to use your existing flexible batteries on the new power shift equipment. All right, so can you give me an idea of how many watt hours are in that 15 amp battery so, in comparison? This this battery is two times the capacity of the 15 amp. Okay, so like two of those. Two so of those. Yeah. In a pinch, though, if I'm waiting on this to recharge and I've got a flexible battery laying around, I can grab that, drop it in, and keep working and with keep my on new working. power. I, I look at it as like a get out of jail free card. You know, yeah. you don't have a power shift battery fully charged. There's it's not a one great right backup. Next to you. It's a great backup. alternate play. source of power. I love that. All right, guys, we heard something really big was at the Makita booth, but I had no idea it was going to be this big. This is my buddy Larry. He's going to tell us all about what it, this is a huge breaker. It's XGT X2. XGT X2, new 70 pound breaker hammer. So it's got the hitting power and the vibration of our electric model, but completely cordless. XGT platform with over 130 different tools that run on the same platform. That's fantastic. So how soon until we're going to be able to buy one of these? So this is brand new for us. We just have it here at the show. Just a but we expect today, to release it in fall. All right, man. I can't wait. All right. Well, will you use it for us? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate yes, sir. your time. Thank and you. I'm going to go ahead and start pouring some concrete around my house when it's ready. All right, guys, we're in the Diablo booth with the president and CEO, Russell Cole. So in the past, whenever you're drilling out a hole in concrete, uh, you're gonna have to, after you drill, you've gotta go in and blow out the dust and clean it, and there's all these different steps to it. There was a solution that we'd seen, uh, which was our vacuum solutions that people purchased, but they're very, very expensive, uh, and not always that effective. You guys have come up with something completely different. How exactly is yours different, and how does it work? A lot of um, uh, companies came out with this hollow bit design. Right. And the idea is fantastic, but the execution is not. So the first issue is this design. Okay. It doesn't take the heat. Yep. The second is the tube is hollow. So structurally it makes it weak, Yeah. right? And uh, then you got these two little pinholes and it's funny, we were using this earlier. They're actually clogged. Here we go. So, but this is, this is good to see. You can see the difference. It gets it's clogged up. And it clogs up very, very quickly. So then you're pulling out and then if, if dust gets stuck in here, you don't have any chance because there's nothing you can do. It's a solid, well, it's, it's hollow, but it's one piece, yeah. right? And then the third and last thing is, you just hold that. Third and last thing is, is the vacuum adapter is fixed on it. So when this goes bad, the whole thing the goes in the trash. The whole thing's tossed out. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready for the, uh, how much this is? How it can much? go up to $250, <laughs> right? So, so you're talking about the difference between a $20 bit versus spending 200 just so you don't have to vacuum it exactly. out. Exactly. That doesn't sound like a solution. Idea, great. Yeah. Execution, poor. Not so good. what did we do about it? We changed everything, <laughs> everything. First thing is start with the core of the bit. So instead of having hollow, we started with a solid core. So this makes it strong and robust. And users tell us when they're 
bearing on it that can get on it. It doesn't vibrate and tremble like this does. The second thing is, if you notice the top of it, the whole thing is carbide. Carbide can handle heat up to 50 times more. So this goes up to 1800 degrees, right? So you can go through rebar with it. it takes and we're not the heat. And just to be clear, we're not talking about like two teeth. We're talking about the entire head is all the tire, carbide. Everything that's red is carbide. Awesome. So it's a four cutter system that takes small bites out of yeah. it and uh, takes a little bite and so it reduces vibration and you can just get on it. So we put the sleeve on it right here. And so, so this it is actually has still. points all the way around where it's pulling dust up through. Pull it up. Well, the, it vacuums here, pulls it all the way through the channel oh. versus the, the bit itself being handled. Yeah. And what we allow for SDS Plus here, you got a vacuum system that you can take off. And so this fits every single SDS Plus size or we have an SDS Max no and that fits onto it. So it's cost effective. Yeah. So this will go for a $55 retail, repeat, $55 retail versus a $200 to $250. Awesome. So cost is lower, productivity significantly higher, and you're saving labor, labor, and labor. Love it. All Plus, right, so last question, yes, when sir. can I give it? Uh, second quarter. All right. We'll start shipping. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Russell, it's um, always a pleasure. You bet. Thanks Enjoyed so it. Much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, we're here in the Milwaukee booth with my brother Brandon, who's going to show us the brand new Milwaukee MX Fuel one horsepower, two inch submersible pump. You got it. I'm so excited about this thing. New to world. This is the first battery construction pump in the world. As you mentioned, one horsepower, two inch. This pump requires no generator, meaning you can pump anywhere. This is going to be the greatest mobile pumping solution out there. Normally on job sites, you have to haul a generator around. Right here, you can pick up the backpack, pick up the pump, carry it around. Great solution for mechanical vaults, electrical vaults, confined space pumping where you don't have emissions, for puddle pumping, mobile pumping on job sites. On top of that, we save time and we last longer with AutoSense. This pump has multiple modes. On high speed, we're gonna match the performance and output of every other one horsepower, two inch pump on the market, but we can also detune it, run it at a slower RPM, and extend our run times. On high, you get 20 minutes or over 2,000 gallons. On low speed, you'll extend that to two hours and over 5,000 total gallons. Jeez. We also have some intelligence in this pump. This pump can tell once it runs out of water, it will automatically shut that pump off, and then it'll kick back on when it senses it, which is what it did right now. On top of that, there's a remote that gives users feedback. It'll tell you the battery gauge, whether the pump's on or off, and then it gives you the notifications as the pump changes status, as well as what mode it's operating in, and you can turn the pump on and off. Man, that thing's moving a lot of water. So how much, where are the stats here? How much water can it move? Yep, up to 90 gallons a minute in this configuration. We're simulating with this back pressure, pumping 100 feet to the side, and we're running at over 50 gallons a minute. My God, that's flipping awesome. All right, man, price and availability. Sure, this will be available in July of 2024, and we're targeting $24.99 as a retail, as a full kit. Pump console, pump, MX battery, 6.0 battery, as well as a charger. Awesome, thanks Brandon, appreciate it. Yeah. All right guys, so my next stop on our tour, the new PowerShip battery platform in the DeWalt booth. You know, if you've ever watched any of our World of Concrete coverage, we come here to see Ricky, that's it. Ricky, so good to see you, man. You too, buddy. We miss you. you. Thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us. We just got a walkthrough of the new battery platform. What it, you know, the, we're talking about the size, the efficiency, uh, the adapter, that kind of fun stuff. But now we want to get into the tools. And our first one looks like we got a rammer. Do you want to talk about that guy first? Yeah, let, I am pumped about that. Yeah, let's dig in on site prep, Rob, okay. because with PowerShift, we'll always launch a complete application because we are obsessed over the user workflow. Okay. And so if you're going to prep the site, you yeah. need a rammer, rammer and a first, plate. Then the plate comes in. Gotcha. All right. Let's go to it then. So when we looked at rammers in place, we looked at the things that we're the best in the world at, which is brushless motors and how and the electronics that tell those motors how to behave. Okay. And so fully sealed brushless motor. Uh, we were talking about the weather before. Yeah. But it, it, it was pretty wet during setup. Yeah. And even the first day of World of Concrete, we were the only ones out here making noise. Fully sealed system, including the electronics That's and the motor. Awesome. Hey, the other big thing, though, with those electronics and that motor, we patented our soft start because we know gas units, you have to start one up, right? It can kind of be like a buck and bronco. <laughs> this is so smooth yeah. and so controllable. Yeah. The other big thing we did with the rammer is is all of our controls they're incredibly intuitive and we took it right on off high low we took that same philosophy though rob 
and we brought that also over to our plate compactor as well. So the same. Great big buttons, easy to use with gloves on. I'll, I see that. Oh yeah, 100%. So if you know how to use one, you know how to use the other. Nice. Same sealed electronics and motor, fast forward compaction speeds. I mean, really awesome. Now, now I notice you have a water tank on the front of it. Yeah, so we will ship our unit because it's premium with the water tank. So for those doing site prep, they can turn the valve on and they can drip water to keep the dust down so they don't end up looking like pig pen. That's great. And it's also gonna come with this wheel mobility kit. I mean, it's a 15 kilonewton unit, 238 pounds. Yeah. I mean, it's got power, right? It's got the right size plate, super maneuverable. I mean, I see you, you got your bar for your lift here, but you'd be able to use, utilize that built-in set of wheels to just take it back to the truck. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, managing it in the shop is just as is just as important as managing your inventory when you're on the job. That's Everything fair, yeah. is called out, right? Designated lift points. For, I see it, yep. For stuff, and then again, the, the ability to have mobility with moving your gear around is really key. Very cool. All right, guys, Makita has a brand new nine inch concrete saw. I'm super, super excited about it. Luckily, I met Dan here and knows all about it. Dan, tell us yeah. about this brand new saw. So this is the XGT nine inch power cutter. Uh, runs off our 40 volt XGT platform. Uh, we don't know all the specs yet. This is a prototype, but we knew, do know that it's supposed to be about 35 to 40% more powerful than the LXT version. Wow. The X2 and have uh, a lot more runtime as well. Do you have I any idea when we might see one for sale? They haven't told us anything. I saw it for the first time yesterday morning. Uh, but no, so far, kidding. I'm really impressed with it. Well, that'll give me time to save up my money. Yeah. So can you give us a demo real quick? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to cut through some uh, CMU. All right, guys, we just walked into the Diamond Products booth where they, every year, they have really cool new concrete cutting tools, specifically showing off their amazing blades. I got Mickey here who's gonna tell us about this guy right here. This is brand new, isn't it? Yes, yes, it's uh, first time we're introducing it. It's the 6774. Um, it goes up to a 42 inch blade. Uh, we went with the Caterpillar engine, uh, it's 74 horsepower. It is a stage five emissions. Uh, so the latest in the emissions grade, it's got a charged air cooler, uh, very simplicity, simplicity of design is what we were after for this, and power density, uh, hence the choice of it. Everything that you see here is easy to access as far as service goes. Um, it's easy to work on, easy to operate. We've got electronic depth stop, a new propulsion system on it. Uh, so th this thing powers through rebar, powers through uh, pretty much any aggregate that you have. So, uh, and it's small and compact for uh, for the power that it's got. That's so very we're cool. really enthusiastic about this new, this new model. Awesome, so what kind of depth of cut does something like this have? How deep can you cut with it? Uh, well, it go, on the 42 inch blade, it goes up to about 17 and a half inches. Wow, awesome. All right, yeah, well, we... I definitely need at least three of these. I just don't know what for. <laughs> Awesome. Yep. Thanks, Mickey. Right, appreciate thank your you. time, Appreciate buddy. it. All right, one of my favorite job site saws has been Bosch's for quite a while. Part of my obsession is the genius gravity stand they have as well. Justin here is going to show it to you. Absolutely. So this stand here is going to be redesigned from our previous version. There's three different features I want to point out on this particular gravity rise stand. First, you're going to see this here will be the lowest position of the stand itself. You tip it on its side. Provides your really flat and level surface to cut heavier material. I was going to say, so that's actually a workable position, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, it is. That's the lowest position on the stand itself. And it's level. And it's level. That is level. awesome. That way you don't have to lift up heavier material all the way up. Yeah. You come here, cut it. Love Send it. Send it back up. You're going to see this W-shaped handle here. It's going to be ergonomically designed for one-handed pulling and two-handed pushing on and off the job site. The last thing about this, this new uh, Gravity Rise stand, ease of assembly. Takes you about 45 minutes to put together completely. Our previous version took about hour and a half, yeah. or maybe three to four beers. This yeah. was one beer, <laughs> and that's it. It's a one beer assembly process, one beer assembly. love it. So now you hit the Gravity Rise stand, you're ready to set it up. Oh, so that's now we're awesome. going to the saw itself. Um, what's gonna be novel about this saw is our rack and pinion system. Industry standard on all table saws. 
What's different about ours is these black and silver color-coded index pins that correlate to a black and silver scale up top. Yeah, this you just way, move the fence over, right? Exactly. This awesome. way you know exactly what you're looking at when you're doing your, your macro and your micro adjustments. So right now I'm on the black index pins. If I'm here, we'll stop right there. We'll micro to 26, we're at 26 inches. Lock it into place. If I move it to the silver index pin. Now you're 19. Now we're at 19. Love it. That way you know exactly what you're looking at. <laughs> So just making the, just making those two bolts of different colors brings me so much joy, you know. Exactly. Now. It's such a simple thing, but yeah, it's gonna make it a lot easier to remember. But we also feature, like I said, our auxiliary fence when you flip it over. Yeah. You have material support here, obviously. Here you bring it up one other step, you can get closer to the blade. For material eighth of an inch thick. Nice. Now, another innovative feature that we have on this table saw is a four x four cut capacity in one go. No longer do you have to run Sheesh. the table saw. You can actually run the saw, one pass, four by four is cut completely through. That's with a 10 inch blade? With a 10 inch blade, that's correct. Wow. Blades all the way up. That's one of the features here. It's gonna be innovative to our table saw alone. We have also our clamp zones. This is also a Bosch innovation feature right here at the top. So what you can do is once the rip fence is stored, the safety barrier assembly is off, the blade is down, you can actually utilize one-handed bar clamps to put material for sanding, gluing, after finish work directly on the tabletop. So you can actually I utilize that the tabletop, idea. Yeah. not just for, just for cutting. Yeah. So those are the four key takeaways that we this saw has, no other saw has on the market. Our gravity rise stand, our rack and pinion system with color-coded index pins, our four x four cut capacity, and also our clamp zone features here. Very we cool. also have in the motor, um, we have our convenience brake, which stops the blade approximately three seconds for safety. We have our uh, regulated speed electronically. So naturally, when you add load to a blade, the blade wants to slow down. What it does, our motor senses the blade slowing down, ramps the speed up to make so it you consistent. maintain that RPM. Oh, that's cool. Consistently. That way you don't have any deviation in the RPM range. Yeah. Um, also, our stop start technology. It ramps the blade up slowly. That way you don't trip any circuit breakers and you're ready to go ahead and cut. Very so, cool. So I mean, this saw we're excited about, designed right here by myself and the engineers in Mount Prospect, Illinois. So we're excited about it. All right, guys, I'm back with my buddy Brandon here in the Milwaukee booth looking at their brand new Rammer. This thing is awesome, it's, it's huge. pretty cool. So I just got a quick lesson in the difference between a compact and a rammer. Could you give that to us again, just for anyone who has never used them before? Yeah, sure. Uh, compact, plate compactors are generally used on more granular substrates, whereas rammers are gonna be used on more cohesive soils, clay content, and dirt. Yep, these are also much uh, more common in structural backfill around utilities, retaining walls, structural concrete, so whereas plates of, are flat work. So instead of vibrating things down into place, this is ramming them into yep, place. Yep, we're going we're gonna to pound and compact that ground nice. as hard. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. This rammer hits harder and travels fastest. It's the same value proposition that we're delivering on our plate compactor as well. The most productive rammer on the market without sacrificing compaction. We're still delivering the same compaction you'd expect from your uh, gasoline equivalent 70 kg rammers on top of that there's no gas headaches no choking no priming no pulling instant startability and no emissions these products are often used in confined spaces indoors and down in trenches where those emissions are, are uh, causing issues for users who are breathing them in we have a convenient user interface right here all of the controls are right at your thumb you don't even have to let go of the rammer in order to operate it fast you're the most productive Slow gives you greater control, maneuverability, and spot compaction on and then off. Awesome. That's great. All right, price and availability. Yep. This is going to retail for $64.99, so about $6,500. It'll be available in summer, right around July of 2024. That going to include some batteries? It will, fully kitted with two HD 12 volt batteries, our largest batteries, as well as a supercharger. Sounds good. Thanks again, Brandon. Appreciate Thanks a it, lot.
All right, guys, we're not going to come to World of Concrete and not stop in the block ladder booth. My buddy CJ's here to tell us about some brand new pants. And I'm not going to lie, they look like they have just barely enough pockets to get me through the day. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. So tell us about the new pants. Just barely enough pockets. This is our new 1615 soft shell pant. So very similar setup to the four-way stretch pant or even any of our 1690s. So it's just something you're familiar with. Um, Cordero reinforcements, utility pockets that zip off. If you decide awesome. you don't want yeah. those, it makes it really easy. The main thing that makes this pan different is the fabric itself. This is a so uh, soft shell, oh, so it's a fleece warm. lining. Yeah. Very soft and comfy. Uh, waterproof and windproof fabric. The seams aren't taped on this because it's a soft shell, so waterproof. Uh, it's not a waterproof jacket, but the fabric itself is. So if you're kind of in light rain or just wet in general, yeah. snowy or it's been raining, this is the ideal pant for you because you still have the knee pads, you still have all the other functionality that you're used to, uh, hammer loop attachments and for the belt loops, and then the, the zip off pocket. So very, very awesome. popular right now. We're in Vegas, so it's really hot today. And so <laughs> most people are like, I don't need that. But for most of the country, it's really cold and snowy Yeah, right I was going to say, when we head back to Ohio, yeah, we're going to need those You're going to want this. It's, awesome. it's great. So, well, thanks, CJ. Really yeah. appreciate it, bud. Absolutely. Have a great show. You too. All right, our next power shift tool is a power screed. Never saw one of these from DeWalt before. No. I, I love seeing these new tools come out with this new platform. So, Ricky, what can you tell us about it? So, back to that workflow and total application solution. So, as part of concrete placement, we'll deliver our screed to the industry. And, you know, what's really important are three major things for the user. Okay. One is power. This has got enough power to break a fresh, cold joint. Okay, which is pretty cool. Concrete doesn't always show up on time. Things run late. Concrete starting to set up. You get the new fresh stuff. You got a, a hard seam. Boom, you can break a fresh cold joint. It reliquifies it for the finishing process to make it nice and clean and easy for them. Nice. They're finishing. That's one. Two is runtime. All right. We are seeing 90 minutes of continuous runtime per battery With charge. With that 550, 554 but, battery. Absolutely. Awesome. The third really important thing is to utilize your bars. And so the power shift, power screed, has the ability if you're on one of the extruded aluminum bars, or if you're on one of the L-shaped pans with the nine inch hole spacing, you can, can adapt to either one. You can bolt right up to them so you, and you're maximizing the investment you already have in your bars. All right, and all you're doing is repowering with the unit that's better than gas. Awesome, do you have price and availability yet on this guy? Yep, everything will be coming out a little bit closer to launch. All right, guys, this is one of the newest MX tools that I've been most excited about. Don't get me wrong, rammers and stuff are super cool, but I love the Rocket Light series. This is a brand new smaller one that still kicks out a ridiculous 15,000 lumens. My buddy Matthew here is here to tell us all about it. Matthew, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Tell me all about the new MX Rocket Light. The unit is small, it's compact, and super cool. It's actually pack out integrated. Oh, what are the chances of that? You can lock it onto your rolling toolbox, move it on the job site. With the kitted XC406 battery, yep. it's actually under 50 pounds. Really easy to move around that job site. No kidding. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet light. That's great. Super easy to deploy. You got a one click latch here. You got four locking cams. You can take this up seven feet. It's got outriggers for uneven terrain. You just lock those in there. Really easy to deploy. The light actually has three different light modes. You have a low, you have a medium, you have a high. High is going to throw 15,000 lumens of light. That is remarkable. And you're going to get three hours of runtime with that. You're kidding. The light also actually has AC power as well. So if you have power available on the job site, you can plug in for all day use. Absolutely love the plug-in option. So it's sturdy with just these two outriggers in the front. Yep, this is, you know, it's, it's a pretty solid base. This gives it the added stability if you're on uneven terrain. The unit itself is IP56 rated, so you can use it indoors and out. It has water and dust protection. Love it. That is awesome. Really excited about this light, really excited about the portability it brings to the lighting equipment area. So then this head on top, I'm assuming we can rotate to yep, any you, angle. Oh, look at that. Yep, it rotates around. You can rotate it back. So if you're in an indoor area, you want to have some ambient oh, lighting, the ceiling? you can tip it back oh, I and love you can that. flood the ceiling as well. Wonderful. All right, man, price and availability. So it's coming Q3 
and we're looking at 1999. Is it's, that going to have a battery? Yeah, it's going to come with the XC406 battery. It'll also come with a standard charger. Awesome. Can't wait. All right, guys, I'm here with Philip, who's going to show us a brand new car for your Bosch Jackhammer. Philip, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Tell us about this guy, the GHT 130. All right, the GHT 130 is our brand new floor removal cart. Imagine uh, here in Las Vegas, a uh, big casino like entrance halls. You have to remove a ton of tiles. This is the tool to, to go right at it. So this floor removal cart um, comes in five adjustable angles and it features um, a toolless change system for your jackhammer. So the real idea behind it is you can put the weight from the tool now onto the cart so that you don't have to strain on your body and it increases your productivity. With this, uh, with this cart, you can scrape tiles in no time. Um, let's do a demo of this one. That looks awesome. Now, this will only work with a specific jackhammer? Yeah, so uh, it will work with, uh, with the Bosch 11335K okay. jackhammer. Uh, we are working in the future on bringing other brackets that we can also make it adjustable to other tools. That's fantastic. Awesome. Well, thanks, Philip. I appreciate it. I, uh, I always like working with Bosch. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be it for our first day at Wordle Concrete 2024. But we have so much more left to show you from the likes of Milwaukee and Hilti and Bosch and Makita and all your favorite brands. So be sure to join us next Friday at 8 p.m for our day two coverage and the rest of what happened at World of Concrete. I want to thank our sponsors, the Ego Block Ladder, Ohio Power Tool, and Tested HQ for continuing to support our show and our community of tool fans. All right, guys, if you can, do something kind for somebody else this weekend, and we'll see you next week.